Whether it's making Brock Lesnar burst into uncontrollable laughter, or playfully mixing up Ric Flair with Akira Tozawa, Tozawa? These are times where our truth hilariously managed to break others' as characters. You're not even in the match! Number 1. Taking stand for his favorite fried fish. Firstly, we need to talk about how our truth made Shayna Baszler crack a smile, even though she's tough as nails. Back in 2020, WWE superstar Shayna was a guest on one of the episodes of Raw Talk. Unfortunately for her, our truth was also part of the panel, and we all know that it's hard to stay in your character when he's around you. Shayna was actually complaining about the backstage food services. She was furious and took out her rage in catering instead of beating people in the ring. Catering wasn't even that good tonight! Or our truth couldn't hear such things about his favorite fried fish. He jumped into the argument and accused Shayna of not using tartar sauce. You probably didn't put no tartar sauce on it. Naturally, this caught Shayna off guard and we can see her struggling to keep her face straight. So the lesson we got from this incident is that never mess with our truths fried fish or else you'll fall victim to his hilarious sense of humor. Number 2. Making Brock Lesnar laugh uncontrollably While the next incident will make you believe that R-Truth is one of the funniest and most entertaining wrestlers in recent history, can you believe that he made Brock Lesnar laugh uncontrollably? We all know that Brock Lesnar isn't a fun-loving guy. That's why Paul Heyman challenged Truth to break Brock's character without any script. It's like, Truth, you're a funny guy, and we have a bet that you can't make Brock laugh. I think you can, but they think you can't. Truth accepted the challenge and interrupted Brock in Paul's in-ring promo segment, blaming his school Paul at the Royal Rumble. Heyman was like, dude, it's Brock Lesnar in the Rumble, not me. Truth withdrew from the match faster than a bullet, and Brock was just cracking up. Classic Truth move. The Royal Rumble! It was later revealed in one of the interviews that Brock loved his natural sense of humor so much that he invited Truth backstage and said he'd love to work more with the 24-7 champion. After that segment was over, we were in the back and Brock was laughing and he said, bro, we got to do something together. He said, there's something there. I don't know what it is, but there's something there. Number three, not being part of the match. We can understand why Vince totally relies on Truth. He's a laughter maestro. Cracking jokes without crossing lines. That's why he gets more creative freedom than other wrestlers. For example, almost eight years ago, Truth interrupted a Raw segment involving Roman Reigns, Kane, and Dolph Ziggler. He began talking about conquering his fear of heights and said he was really excited about winning the Money in the Bank briefcase. But there was a small problem. He wasn't even part of the match. Kane, the bearer of bad news, came forward to inform Truth that he wasn't even in a match. You're not even in the match! Confused Truth started apologizing to everyone. The whole arena was cracking up. While Kane tried to maintain a serious face, Roman and Ziggler couldn't contain their amusement and burst into fits of laughter. Number 4. Knocking himself out before Big Show does No one is safe from Truth's humor, not even the mighty Big Show. In the world of WWE, people make sure to keep their distance from the Big Show. After all, he's not just a giant in stature, but also a master at ensuring everyone stays in line. But you guessed it, Truth still dared to mess with him. In one unforgettable segment, Big Show went on a rampage, throwing knockout punches left and right. Scared of getting a real punch from the Big Show, Truth opted for a different strategy. He pretended to get knocked out, sprawling on the ground. The camera then swiftly shifted away from Big Show, capturing his amused grin as he chuckled at Truth's playful antics. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. Number 5. Dressing up as a Confederate soldier Even when he's the bad guy, Truth is a comedy genius. Back in 2011, he ended up challenging John Cena for the WWE Championship. As part of this program, Truth messes up with a fan and his son in the audience. To cap it off, he chucked a whole soda at the fan. Then the raw boss said Truth could fight John Cena, but he had to apologize first. So in Richmond, where history says it used to be the Confederate capital, Truth does something wild. He walks out during a segment with Stone Cold Steve Austin and Vince McMahon, dressed as a Confederate soldier. He says sorry to everyone, including the soda, and explains he's breaking free from the WWE universe. I'm in Richmond, Virginia. Just imagine, our truth a black wrestler wearing the uniform of the racist army of the Confederacy. Vince keeps a straight face, but Austin loses it. Camera has to look away as Austin starts cracking up. Number 6. Trying to catch the imaginary briefcase from the air. If there's one thing you can trademark about our truths WWE vibe, it's this constant cloud of comedy confusion that hangs around him like a friend. Let us take you guys back to the 2016 Royal Rumble where Truth storms in at number 12 and whips out a letter. Everyone's looking around like, what in the world is happening? He sets up the letter and climbs it like he's on a mission, ready to grab that imaginary briefcase. But the plot twist here is there wasn't a briefcase. Truth thought the Royal Rumble was a letter match, and oh boy did he pay for that mix-up.
Kane shows up and eliminates him from the match. I think our truth thinks this is a ladder match for the championship. Later on the Not Sam Wrestling podcast, Truth spills the beans. He pitched a letter idea to Vince, making the Rumble look like a Money in the Bank match. And guess what? Vince finds it hilarious and bursts into laughter. Number seven, dancing spontaneously in front of Daniel Bryan. Every WWE fan knows Carmella and Truth were like the coolest tag team ever in 2018. Carmella had Truth's back, helping him keep that 24-7 championship whenever she could. They clicked so well that their partnership kept going from Miz TV to Truth TV. Guess who their first guest was? None other than Daniel Bryan. Even a wrestling legend like him couldn't help but be surprised and amused by their funny moves, especially when Truth and Carmella busted out a spontaneous dance. Number 8. Thinking AJ Constructs Smackdown House By Himself I bet this next one will make you know why our truth is everyone's favorite. In a chat with AJ Styles on Raw, Truth pulled off a hilarious move trying to crack AJ's serious wrestler vibe. Turning to AJ, Truth asks if SmackDown was his house. Does he also do condos, duplexes, or little three-story homes? Truth thought that AJ was the constructor. AJ looks kind of shocked trying to keep it together. Condominiums, little homes, that's what? What are, you, what are we doing Did here? you not build the SmackDown house? And then he blames the host Charlie Caruso for encouraging Truth's crazy talk. It's the house that AJ Styles built, but it doesn't mean I actually built it by hand. Trying to save things, AJ explains why Truth shouldn't take the house AJ built stuff too seriously. He says, I built it not with my bare hands. And Truth was disappointed. Number 9. Damien Priest couldn't resist Truth's humor. Every entertainer needs to take notes from our truth on how to make serious and intense characters like Damien Priest laugh. A few months ago, Raw kicked off with the Judgment Day like it usually does, but then our truth showed up wondering about his initiation last week, where Judgment Day basically beat him up. But here's where it gets even funnier. Truth suggests a loser leaves Judgment Day match with JD McDonough. And guess what? Damien Priest agrees. In the middle of all this, Truth manages to make Damien break character on live TV. I saw it in your eyes. Number 10, Truth got stuck in an elevator with other competitors. While every WWE fan knows that it's hard to keep the 24-7 championship belt away from Truth. Back in 2019, Truth and Carmella were running away with the belt, and things got weird when they got stuck in an elevator with Drave Maverick, EC3, Cedric Alexander, and Heath Slater. The refs, who usually count the pinfall, were outside, so the chase turned into a random talk session. Marriage is, is scary for anyone. Oh, yeah, everybody. Sure. It is, it but is. true love is real, man. Just imagine a bunch of wrestlers in an elevator having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And I've been married like five times now. This <laughs> Drake's freaking out about his upcoming wedding, and Truth started acting like a therapist. Number 11, calling Alexa Bliss a creep. Well, the next wrestler on our list also couldn't resist Truth's hilarious sense of humor, and it's none other than Alexa Bliss. In 2021, Alexa Bliss showed up on Raw Talk with hosts R Truth and Kevin. Alexa mentions she wanted to give Reggie a timeout, just like her doll Lily. She even says Lily likes R Truth and wants him to join their playground. Truth, being his funny self, calls Alexa creepy Lexi and asks if she's a whack job like he's been hearing. You was a whack job, and I'm saying you're not one. Alexa then laughs it off and says she doesn't have any mental issues. Number 12, Truth's child. Childhood idol is younger than himself. Not many fans may remember this, but there's a bit of history between John Cena and R Truth. Truth used to call John Cena his childhood idol, but here's the plot twist John Cena is six years younger than Truth. Flashback to 2011, R Truth and John Cena got into it with a feud. Truth went a bit off the rails, convinced there was a conspiracy against him. He even teased fans wearing John Cena shirts, calling them Little Jimmy. Big Jimmy got on a John Cena t shirt too! John Cena, who's usually all serious, couldn't hold it together after a few arguments and ended up bursting into laughter. Number 13, mixing up Ric Flair and Akira Tozawa. We all have that one friend who's forever lost in confusion. Well, our truth is just like that, but he turns his puzzled moments into a comedy show. Take 2020 for instance, when Truth and his 24-7 title were being chased by Akira Tozawa and his motorcycle ninjas. During the chaos, Truth accidentally crashes into Ric Flair and Randy Orton. I gotta get away. Oh. Whoa. Now here's where it gets funny. Truth gets all mixed up between Rick and Tazawa. He starts threatening Rick, telling him to back off from his belt. Rick and Orton are left scratching their hands, clueless about what's going on. Truth then points at Rick and calls him Tazawa. Tazawa? Flair and Orton couldn't keep a straight face. Number 14. Gets confused about his phobias. Well, not only about the wrestlers, Truth is also confused about his phobias. Yeah, you heard it right. Our Truth enters the ring, rambling about his acrophobia and how there better not be any spiders in the Money in the Bank match or the briefcase. I got acrophobia, y'all! Well, the plot twist here is that he mixes up his phobias. Acrophobia is a fear of heights, not spiders. Not one spider on this ladder! <laughs> I told you! It's commentary team and audience totally lose it on air, cracking up at Truth's mix-up. 
And there you have it, Times Our Truth made others break character. Be sure to subscribe and smash the bell icon so you don't miss more wrestling content like this.